as opportunistic visitors to the Uzamnitsa camp, both Milan Lukic and Swedeo Lukic came for no other reason than to inflict violence on the detainees. Although Swedeo Lukic came to the camp with less frequency than Milan Lukic, both accused beat the detainees with extraordinary brutality, causing them serious and permanent damage. The trial chamber has found that Milan Lukic played a dominant role in both the Pyrniska Street and Bikavats incidents in which, respectively, 59 people and at least 60 people burned alive. While Swedeo Lukic did not himself set Adam Omeraj's house on fire, he knew what would happen to the victims that he helped to herd into Adam Omaraj's house. In the trial chamber's view, the Pioniska Street fire and the Bikavats fire exemplify the worst acts of inhumanity that one person may inflict upon others. In the all too long sad and wretched history of man's inhumanity to man, the Pioniska Street and Bikavats fires must rank high. At the close of the 20th century, a century marked by war and bloodshed on a colossal scale, these horrific events stand out for the viciousness of the incendiary attack, for the obvious premeditation and calculation that defined it, for the sheer callousness and brutality of herding, trapping, and locking the victims in the two houses thereby rendering them helpless in the ensuing inferno and for the degree of pain and suffering inflicted on the victims as they were burnt alive. There is a unique cruelty in expunging all traces of the individ individual victims which must heighten the gravity ascribed to these crimes. Milan Lukic and Swedeo Lukic are alleged to have committed the crime of persecution through a number of underlying acts. The trial chamber has found that Milan Lukic acted with discriminatory intent when committing the underlying acts charged. It has also found that Sredeo Lukic acted with discriminatory intent when aiding and abetting the underlying acts charged. Judge Robinson dissents from the trial chamber's finding in so far as the underlying acts pertain to the transfer of the approximately 70 Muslim civilians to Adam Omaraj's house and their detention and murder in that house during the Pyrniska Street incident. The trial chamber finds Milan Lukic guilty pursuant to Article 7.1 of the statute of committing persecutions, a crime against humanity, 
count one. Murder, a crime against humanity, count two. Murder, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count three. Inhumane acts, a crime against humanity, count four. Cruel treatment, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count five. Murder, a crime against humanity, count six. Murder, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count seven. Murder, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count ten. Inhumane acts, a crime against humanity, count eleven. Cruel treatment, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count twelve. Murder, violation of the laws and customs of war, count 15. Inhumane acts, a crime against humanity, count 16. Cruel treatment, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count 17. Murder, a crime against humanity, count 18. Murder, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count 19. Inhumane acts, a crime against humanity, count 20. And cruel treatment, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count 21. The trial chamber by majority, Judge Van den Weingart descending, finds Milan Lukic guilty pursuant to Article 71 of the Statute of Committing Extermination, a Crime Against Humanity, Count 8, and Extermination, a Crime Against Humanity, Count 13. The trial chamber sentences Milan Lukic to a term of imprisonment for the remainder of his life. Pursuant to Rule 101C, Milan Lukic is entitled to credit for time spent in detention, which as of the date of this judgment amounts to 1443, 1443 days, and for such additional time as he may serve pending the determination of any appeal. This information is provided in the event that it becomes necessary in any subsequent proceedings. Pursuant to Rule 103C, Milan Lukic will remain in the custody of the tribunal pending finalization of arrangements for his transfer to the state where he will serve his sentence. The trial chamber by majority, Judge David dissenting, finds Sredeo Lukic not guilty on the following counts. Count 8, extermination, a crime against humanity. Count 13, extermination, a crime against humanity. Count 14, murder, a crime against humanity. Count 15, murder, a violation of the laws and customs of war. Count 16, inhumane acts, a crime against humanity. Count 17, cruel treatment, a violation of the laws and customs of war. The trial chamber finds Sredeo Lukic guilty pursuant to Article 71 of the statute of committing inhumane acts, a crime against humanity, count 20, and a cruel treatment, a violation of the laws and customs of war, count 21. <coughs> the trial chamber finds Sredeo Lukic guilty pursuant to Article 71 of the statute of aiding and abetting persecutions, a crime against humanity, count one, inhumane acts, 
A Crime Against Humanity, Count 11. <coughs> Cruel Treatment, a Violation of